We're here at Hoosier State Natural Area. I don't know what a Hoosier is. I guess it's uh, I guess it means someone who lives in Indiana. It sounds more like some sort of demented hazing ritual. But this is some of the most intact savanna habitat I've ever seen. It, they must burn here because they got a lot of good stuff. You can see they got the agratinas over there. And uh, they got, most importantly, this Comptonia peregrina. Okay, sweet fern is the common name. No relation to ferns. The adjective sweet is put in front of it because it smells so fragrant. It's such a fragrant plant, okay? The first time I saw this in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, it's uh, wax myrtle family Miracaceae, uh, but uh, order of oaks Vigales. It's got nitrogen-fixing bacteria in those roots in the genus Frankia, and the fruits, the seeds, uh, can live in the soil for upwards of a century. They're kind of dependent on fire. They need a fire to come through, burn it. You can see it's doing fine in the part shade of this understory of oaks. This is some incredible oak savanna and there's a bunch of good stuff here plants you would not find in other places uh, in the midwest plants like this little white aster dolingra umbellata okay i have not seen this in many other places around uh, around the midwest we also got a couple different species in ericaceae right here like uh, vaccinium and gustafolium in the same genus as blueberries galasachia baccata as well this is a wonderful spot. I've never been here before. Somebody dropped a dime to me, told me about it. I decided to come check it out. You can see the substrate is uh, kind of sand. We are here at the southern end of Lake Michigan, but this is beautiful, man. I mean, this is really no invasives. It looks like they burn whole understories of axinium, uh, you know, blueberry genus, Galasachia, and then a bunch of this Comptonia. This is everywhere, and this is kind of a rare plant. I wish I saw this in cultivation more. It likes generally acidic soils. It likes sand and it's a nitrogen fixer, and it smells incredible. These, these fern-like leaves, again, no relation to ferns, it smells so good. Oh, look, you got that nice yellow indument on the underside. And though it's done, we also got this guy, Tick Tree for a Hylodesmum glutinosum. Those triffid leaves, uh, you can tell it's in the pea family, very distinct uh, chordate shape to it, like a little heart, and uh, there is uh, one of these leguminous fruits left pink flowers when they go off and it's all over the understory here there's a lot of good shit here a lot of good stuff you wouldn't find in many other places in the chicago area in the tri-state area we got the ferns going off we got onoclea sensibilis we got uh, the cinnamon fern osmondastrum as well whole bunch of good stuff the oaks up top are quercus volutina and quercus alba the eastern black oak and the white oak respectively this is a really nice spot look we got a baptisia right there too holy shit Wonderful spot. Come here, clear your mind, okay? Nice nice antidote to help keep the puke down for when you have to go to the Schomburg Shopping Center or any, any major strip mall in the United States. This is a really, I'm, I'm impressed. And it's all because they burn. Got to burn. Got that sandy soil remnants of the glacial, glacial dam spilling and puking out sand everywhere. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a rest of your day. Get down here. Hoosier State Natural, natural Area. Hoosiers. Go fuck yourself. Bye.